He chairs lots of regular medalists here. 1,500 meters, T-54. And the first of two heats with the first three in each of these heats going through to the final. The next four fastest qualifiers. There is Phil, Madison de Rosario of Australia. Canilla Wallengren of Sweden. Babaloa of Nigeria, who goes in three. Vandenbroek of the Netherlands in four. Shirley Riley of the US, who goes in five. Helbling of Switzerland in six. And McClammer of the USA, who goes in lane seven. 3.23.03, the best this year of these athletes is by by McClemmer in lane seven. And we hope there been no hand and we don't have any incident like we did in the men's 1500 metre heat three just a few moments ago. We'll cross our fingers. Di Rosario going in the inside lane here is Angie Ballard's good friend and roommate. Uh, so Angie Ballard picking up the, the 200 metre gold last night and we'll see her in the next team wow. of this race. So friendship's out the window then? You'd like to think so. Tatiana McFadden with the world and championship record. World record set earlier this year. She's not here, of course. She's over competing in the New York Marathon in a little while. So there's a space there for someone to perhaps set a new championship record and also set a new world record if that is possible. And De Rosario there on the inside has the early lead in this race as they head around to the 150 mark. All the athletes bunched together at this stage from the Netherlands. It's Vandenbroek who's just dropped back there into fourth place at the present time. Coming around down the front there, they've scattered out somewhat from where they started. So we now have a, a line of athletes as we head down to this straight with 1,200 metres left to go. Gobling behind in second place, the Rosario in third, three laps to go. De Rosario won bronze, T53. She's one of three T53s in this, the others being Shirley Riley, Chelsea McClummer. This is a T54 category, which is the uh, slightly stronger and faster categories between the two. Wallengren with three major championship medals to her name, all from last year's Europeans, and Helbling likewise, bronze of the 800 last year in Swansea. So with the T53 category not being offered to 1,500 metres at this event, they can elect to move up into the T54 event. Well, here they come around with 150 metres remaining on this, their second lap. There's about 10 to 12 metres separating all six athletes in this race. At present, as they come down towards the 700 metre mark, the first three Almost. athletes going through automatically, the next four fastest going through. And McClemmer, McClemmer reads from Wallengren at present, and De Rosario is there in third place. So here we are now as we move around into the back straight with about one and a half laps or thereabouts remaining. Alexandra Helbling, looking very good at the moment. Uh, there's no Manuela Shah, there's no Edith Wolf in this, who've been very successful for Switzerland in the past few years. And Wallengren, just keeping ground just behind. De Rosario is on the inside. Wallengren and De Rosario keeping a very good pace. Wallengren, 36 years old, with those two silver medals last year. De Rosario has now made a bit of a move on the inside to hit the front. Coming down the closing straight, next time they do it, it'll be for victory. It's the top three who will go through. But on the outside, our long-time leader from Switzerland, Alexander Helbling. It's the Rosario who leads, Helbling. Then on the inside is Babalola. On the uh, outside, Riley was moving up. But as they take the ball, it's the Rosario who's leading them out at the moment. And Helbling... Moving up in second place. And Babylon has actually done quite well for the entire time on the inside for Nigeria. Trying to move up in fifth place as Margaret Vandenbroek, but still De Rosario. Now 21 years old, a medalist, silver, four by one.
back in Beijing 2008 when she was 14 years old. Part of the squad there. Getting stronger and stronger in athlete as the years go by. It's the Rosario who's still leading the back. And now moving up is the American. Looks like Shirley Riley is trying to keep up with them. And Wallagrin also is going to be a blanket finish. It's only the top three is going to get through. It's the Rosario all the way. Very, very impressive. And then Helbling in second place. Oh, and in third. And fourth was Vanderbrook. Fifth was Jeez. Babalona. And in sixth place was Shirley Riley. Well, Madison de Rosario gets a very, very good victory indeed. And McClemmer comes through in second place in just behind her. So de Rosario and McClemmer come through in the top two places. McClemmer in 359.57. Who comes through? Wallengren comes through in 359.64. So the first three who go through automatically there. And we'll look at the next four fastest who also go through from these two heats. So, De Rosario, she looked strong from the start. She knew she was in a position to move through in that top three. From my point of view, good to see another Australian go through as a winner from the heat. They're looking dangerous, but that uh, heat time was quite a long way behind the world record and championship record held by Tanya McFadden. The world record being 313.27 and the championship record being 326.94. I'm afraid the, the numbers of the helmets were all over the place there. McClamour indeed in second place. The Rosario gets the win, 359-36. McClamour in second place. Wallagrin in third. Vandenbroek will have to wait. And Helbling didn't do as well as uh, had been first thought. She was down in sixth place, but she was supposed to be wearing number six, not McClamour. But hey, well done, Chelsea McClamour. Well, McClamour, I spoke about beforehand, had the uh, best of those athletes heading in. You know,